What is going on everybody? It is Josh here with Atlanta's Pressure Wash and Supply and today we're going to show you how to actually use our new product called Buster Brown. Hold on. We're going to show you how to use our new product Buster Brown Wheel and Tire Cleaner. Okay, This is the best wheel and tire cleaner on the market. It is non-acidic as well. Um, it is also a bug removal as well on the front of a vehicle. Um, we're not gonna sell you on the false pretense that you just spray it on and it comes right off. Like certain circumstances that will happen. Like for instance, my rim on this tire or my rim on my truck is not that dirty, honestly. It's just not, they never really get that dirty. Um, it's been two months since I've washed my truck, which is ridiculous. But so I can spray this on let it dwell for about 20, 30 seconds, and I can rinse it off with our pressure washer. You know, I can do that. Now, for instance, my tires itself, I'm gonna have to scrub a little bit because um, these have gotten pretty dirty after being on job sites and stuff. So that is the truth about it. But the honest truth about it is this is the best wheel and tire cleaner on the market. So we'll show you how to use it properly. Um, I have a tape in the middle that way I'll show you the before and after of the product and we'll also be using our new mobile detail and skid as well to demonstrate how to actually clean this product so if you're in the market for chemicals or if you're in the market for a new mobile detail and setup please check out our website um, you can find all of our stuff on there it's I'll have it linked down below where you can go we have our new mobile detail and skid that is it comes in red black blue and black and yellow as well if you're in the market for that let us know so let's go ahead and try it out and we'll catch you in a second all right so with our buster brown solution we're going to use one fluid ounce of buster brown to two fluid ounces of water in a 32 ounce bottle okay the first step is we're going to spray on the chemical solution onto the tire and the rim itself we're going to let this dwell on the rim and tire for 30 seconds before we agitate it once it's dwelled for 30 seconds, we're going to rinse off the tire with our mobile detail and skid. And I will also use a microfiber towel to dry off the tire. Okay, so I did not agitate the rim. We just let that dwell because it's not that dirty. And once it's done, we'll have a good before and after product to show you. So if you have any questions, let us know. Thank you for watching.